Okay. Ford 2006 F-150. Okay, actuators. Everybody knows about them. They fail. Mine weren't bad. After all this shit that I just went through, I had the actuator in my hand and I got playing with it after I took it out. And it was fine. And followed the vacuum line. It's been crawling under this thing over top of it forever. And I will show you what caused all the problem. This. That little piece of shit right there just cost me a day almost, or ruined my day. It comes out of, here's your solenoid. All right, in the back here, down the bottom, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you have your, your airline or your vacuum coming in, and then the vacuum line coming out. The vacuum line coming out of the bottom, here's your, here's your inline right here. That's the line that comes in to your solenoid. Nothing wrong with the solenoid. I already checked that. But here is the connector that comes off the solenoid. This little piece of shit connects right here on the end of this. And then it goes down along the firewall. And I'm pulling on things, yanking on things, checking vacuum this point, that point, wherever, back and forth. And right here... It's melted closed. I can't even blow through this thing. So all this crap that I just went through because I couldn't get actuators to work was caused by this. And I'm so pissed off. But this is for anybody else that might run into this where your actuators aren't working. Do a really good vacuum check before you start ripping your shit apart because I'm pissed. But apparently right here, okay, this is a connection goes down through, follows the firewall, and apparently they ran it a little too close. It's got a little casing on it, but uh, apparently that's not fire resistant. Apparently they ran it too close to the exhaust down there. And over time, this this is actually the melted part of this hose is inside the, the encasement here. The encasement's not melted, but inside, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is melted closed it's just melted over time and just you know having a vacuum going through it when it gets hot it's just going to suck the thing closed and weld itself together another one thanks ford